setting up three cameras on our yellow box pro i've got my mevo connected to usb to the yellow box pro i have a sony handy cam connected via hdmi now this is going to give me the ability to push in anywhere on the field it's a 27x optical zoom there are some fantastic benefits to running the yolo box pro for baseball for example you get to choose which camera you use anything that has an hdmi out or sends via usb signal you can run with the yolo box pro today i have a sony handycam a mevo start and a generic action cam the acaso uh, v50 pro i believe it is all three of these are running into the yolo box pro mounted here on the fence behind me and i have three really good shots to catch this entire field the little action cam is going to catch a whole field view that gives me everything from right there at the very back of the backstop all of this foul territory that you see in this view is going to be caught by that little action cam anything that's happening on the infield will be visible because of that and anything in foul territory i'm going to catch when I run my Mevo, I have the ability to zoom anywhere in on the infield from that spot. Remember, it has to be in webcam mode for that to work. Right now, it is zoomed in on the first baseline so that any throws from the pitcher to first base I can catch. Anytime a batter leaves the batter's box running up the first baseline, I've got it there on the Mevo. And then the handy cam is gonna let me push in anywhere on the field. It gives me the ability to even catch outfield play if I can anticipate what's happening out there and go ahead and get zoomed in and set those shots up. So three different cameras. Of course, you can run up to six inputs on a Yellow Box Pro, but these three are gonna give me all of the shots I want. If I'm setting up here behind the backstop and I wanna put my chair down and I have, an, and I have a, a webcam that I can run mount on, the, on this little on this little tripod or on that post in front of me and i want to do play by play i can roll that into the feed as well because the yellow box pro is a versatile little piece of equipment monitor encoder switcher recorder all in one that's the entire setup cameras yellow box pro all i have to do is attach my microphone and i'm sitting on go that helps us understand not only camera choices, but camera placement. Now, our connection with the Yellow Box Pro is going to be both Ethernet and SIM bonded connection via Speedify. I'll show you that when we get back in the studio. To run both Ethernet and a cellular connection, we're going to use a SIM card that has both data and voice on it. We can look at our connections by going into the settings at the home screen settings icon here network settings network and internet we can choose to turn on our mobile data we also can have an ethernet for my ethernet i'm going to be using my MiFi mobile hotspot this is an Insego hotspot it's provided by t-mobile if you have the verizon 8800 or whatever their current model of MiFi hotspot is, both devices, most MiFi devices are going to give data out of the USB-C port here on top. So what I'm using is a USB-C to Ethernet adapter. Then just a standard flat Ethernet cable from the adapter to the top of the Yolo box. Plug that into our hotspot, and we'll have an Ethernet connection there on the Yolo box. To get your cellular connection, your SIM card, and your Ethernet to bond, you're going to need a service called Speedify. Aaron Parecki did a great job of a step-by-step -step walkthrough to let the Yolo box Pro sideload the Speedify app, and that's gonna let you combine both your ethernet connection from your MiFi hotspot and your cellular connection from your SIM card to have a boosted, bonded, more powerful connection to ensure you have a quality live stream. Let's look at the overlays integrated with the built-in scoreboard that the Yolo Box has in the software on the device. From a picture catcher view here on my Yellow Box Pro, I'm gonna add an overlay 
to what we see here. Now, the Yellow Box Pro has scoreboards built in. I can turn that scoreboard display on or off at will. I can choose to set it up so that I have my scoreboard styling. So I have my colors, I have my team names, I have all of that set up before I go into, I can even add team logos. I don't have those downloaded yet, but as we get toward baseball season, I guarantee you we will have and then I can add by by choosing an overlay that sits where I'm gonna put that school board. Now, the school board is completely adjustable so I can put it anywhere on the screen I want to. I'm not necessarily sure I want it on the bottom right hand corner, so I'm gonna go in, show you what it looks like to add one of those overlays, image overlay. I know this one goes to the left on the bottom, so I'm gonna choose that one instead. We'll click done. You can scale it up or down. I wanna leave it right there on the corner done so so now i'll turn the one on the right off turn the one on the left on and you can see i have this little graphic that's going to sit behind my scoreboard so i go into the scoreboard here i'm going to turn scoreboard display on you can see it pops up there in the top middle i can drag that down to the bottom i can scale it so it fits with what i built scoot it over just a little bit so it sits right there in the corner I can be done with that. When I blow this up to see it, you can see that I have teams, score, inning, game title, and then in my game title, I went ahead and chose to put outs, and then just the emoji for a baseball, once for one out, twice for two outs, uh, you get the idea there. Our audio in in this setup is going to be via the cameras. I can, I can pull audio from either of these three cameras, or, I can run to the line in or the mic in input on the Yellow Box Pro. So if I'm going to run a uh, Rode Video Micro or a Deity Duo, and I want to try to isolate and catch some of the sound that's coming from the field, but not so much that's coming from the stands here behind it, I can plug that in and mount it up on my Mevo Start Cold Shoe mount there available at jdubhoffman.com slash merchandise if you're interested. I can mount my microphone there and, and have a good mini shotgun mic that's catching field sounds. If I wanna run my Rode Wireless Go or my Hollyland Lark 150, I can run that directly into the Yellow Box Pro and catch the sound from right here on my chest as I clip my lapel or the mini transmitter that comes with one of those systems. As we're looking at the software for the Yellow Box Pro, we need to look at this tab that shows I can monitor the comments that come through, whether I'm streaming to Facebook or to YouTube. So if I've got folks asking different things about the game, I can monitor comments here and reply to them, get better interaction with the folks that I'm streaming to, add better value to the streams that we're producing. And then we'll look at a future video, how we can multi-platform stream because of what Yellow Box allows us to do with their built-in software. One of the great features in the Yellow Box Pro for baseball is going to be the ability to add picture-in-picture. -picture. So I'm gonna choose a picture-in-picture -picture video. I can do a split view as well. It's two smaller views instead of one big, one little. That's the difference between picture-in-picture -picture and split view. So we're gonna start with picture-in-picture. -picture. Let's try that. My first view, I want my main view, I want to be this picture catcher view all right so on the next screen it'll let me choose my sub screen the smaller picture i want that to be running up first baseline so now let's hit next i can select the screen size for that i don't want it to encroach in the batter's box but if i've got somebody on first and he's throwing over i don't even have to switch this way i can just go ahead and let it happen so you can see, if you're watching at home, the picture in picture. If I want to change the aspect ratio, I can go down to one to one. I can reframe this so it's just first base and have an even smaller footprint over here. Go back to 16.9 so you can see everything we want to see. Choose done. Now my picture in picture video. It's giving me an audio message there, but you can see that it shows up my picture in picture just fine right there. I have my picture catcher view here. I have my picture and picture of first base and I still have my scoreboard so you can see what's going on there as well. None of them really get in the way. If I think it does, I can always uh, lower this just a little bit so that I can catch my umpire, my catcher. I can come out from there a little bit if I need to. 
so that everything is still visible, but I have so much more on the screen using the Yellow Box Pro. We'll start by opening Keynote, choosing a new presentation, and then choosing a theme. I always go for the classic black, delete the text boxes, and then let's go ahead and format this background so that there's no fill in the background. Now I'm going to go over to Safari and I'm going to do a search for baseball. When I do a search, I always try to do an image search and then choose my licensing to be public domain. If I can choose public domain on the license of the image, I have no fear with using it in anything that I'm going to be using it for, whether it's product images or whether it's going to be in the videos that I use. Let's scroll down till we find a baseball that we like. I usually try to do one that can easily have the background removed from it. I'll show you how to do that once we get to this baseball. This one looks like it'll work really well. So we'll copy it and paste it into Keynote. While we have Safari open here in side by side, let's go ahead and search baseball diamond as well, because I'm going to try to put in that little diamond graphic that you saw there on the overlay. This is the one. Once again, we'll copy here and paste in Keynote. Now we can get rid of Safari and just deal in Keynote. I'm going to select the baseball, choose the paintbrush, go into Image, and choose Instant Alpha. Click and drag on the white spot. That will make that part transparent. Hit Done. Resize, and now I have a baseball with no background to it. I can use it wherever I want to on this slide. Let's select the diamond. I can choose Arrange and Deselect Constrain Proportions. That way it doesn't stay square. I can give it that flattened outlook so it looks as though I'm looking across the field instead of looking at it from a top-down view. Take and, select, take and arrange that where I want it. And get the baseball put pretty close. I'm going to bring that baseball back to the front instead of letting it be at the back. So it is the overlay that's on top. I'll scooch it over just a little bit so it's right there on the corner. Get my lines right lined up just like I want them. And then we will export this slide as an image. In the image, I'm going to choose a PNG because PNG allows me to use transparent backgrounds. Export. Save the image. And now it's going to be in my camera roll in my photo albums. From there, I'm going to put it on the SD card that goes in the yellow box, and I'll be able to use it as an overlay in any live stream that I have.